Dubai is set to receive its latest palace as the 2.5 billion dirham Emerald Palace Kempinski opens on the Palm later this month. It's one of the most expensive hotels in the world with only 391 rooms. It's built by Armenian businessman Naver Mikatarian and Emirates MBD and together uh, they say it's the first ever European palace style hotel to come to Dubai. Uh, the property is made out of Portuguese marble and gold and diamonds with imported handmade carpets from Paris. Of course, it is only for the top 1% of customers with rooms starting at around 2,500 dirhams. Uh, it will join a host of other hotels entering the Palm over the next 12 months uh, in what many see as potentially oversupplying the number of hotel rooms on the already packed Palm. Elsewhere, the US Fed are expected to hike rates uh, sometime this week uh, from between 2.25 to 25% uh, hike uh, and around 75% of economists polled believe they do indeed believe that the rate hike will go ahead. Although it comes at a stormy time uh, where President Donald Trump has taken aim at the Fed Chairman Jerome Powell uh, over what he believes to be an aggressive uh, interest rate increase policy. Uh, of course, this means the UAE's central bank will be increasing rates this week uh, as the Emirati dirham is pegged to the US dollar. Uh, and lastly, local retailer Marker has seen its CEO Benoit Lamonnier resign this week due to personal reasons. Uh, the company went five months last year without a CEO at the helm uh, and is yet again finding itself uh, without a top executive. Uh, the retailer has posted a 90% loss in the value of its share price this year. Uh, it's one of the worst performing stocks on the DFM and it most recently had to issue a capital uh, extinguishing of 450 million dirhams uh, to extinguish those losses that it's incurred. Uh, so a bad, bad year for Marker. Uh, that's all from us today. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back tomorrow with another business wrap. Uh, I'm Ed Klaus. Have a great day.